working hard on that. I was going, you know, today is my day to make the video, so I don't know. You see my wife back there cooking with Dorsha. Hey, hey, what's up, know, queen? Sorry, hey, we, hey, we having what we having, babe? You want to tell me what we having real quick? Can she plug? She can come plug. <laughs> she gonna plug the channel. We're having fried catfish nuggets, fried shrimp, um, red beans and rice, collard oh greens, God. candy yam, and a summer berry trifle. Oh my hey, God! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey wait a minute. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Look, sorry. I'm I, trying I to figure out. Down. I, you on the big screen? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh my God! Doing that, man. <laughs> I ain't even ate oh, yet. Man. What's up? Oh, man. Oh, man. You asked you ask for this, though. Y'all asked for this right now. I ain't asked for it because I already hey, knew. Hey, I already wait, knew wait, wait, wait. I came to right the kitchen from the beginning. I ain't want to know what, what they were eating. <laughs> Dad to get some dirt. So you get some dirt. Nick here say get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. Right outside. Happy Sunday substitute. Today, I'm running out of space in the kitchen. I go ahead and tell the husband the kitchen is too small. I'm sorry that my ice maker is taking up <laughs> so much space in the kitchen. Yeah, what would we do without the ice maker? Anyway, this Sunday supper, we have fried catfish nuggets. Um, actually, what's missing from here is the shrimp, but I threw that in on the tail end once I saw how many nuggets came <laughs> in a pack. And we're going to have to um, set aside whatever for Nick and Ariana, because they're the ones that are allergic to shrimp. So this is to make up for whatever's lacking here. So just taste this. Anyway, I did um, red beans and rice. So, what you do, this is probably more so for the girls. Get your rice and then put your red beans on top. We have collard greens. The meat that you see in the collard greens is smoked turkey. Um, and then we have candy yams. For dessert, we have a summer berry trifle. So, the summer berries, blueberry, blackberry, strawberry. And that's angel food cake in between the layers. And that is actually fresh spearmint and mint out of our garden. And the Italian parsley is from my herb garden. Yeah. The spearmint is from my herb garden, but I can't take really credit because I got it from my husband. And I think I actually took some of his chocolate mint too. But anyway, <laughs> now we have an assortment of drinks. So come on, we're gonna come pray, on. we're gonna pray today, our last Sunday supper. Last Sunday supper. Oh, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for this time of fellowship. I thank you for blessed vacation that you blessed me with coming to Georgia, renewing old friendships and I'm just so thankful to you, Father God, for the wonderful time that I've had. I thank you for the new people that I have met. Hallelujah, and the love that I have in my heart for each and every one of you. I thank you for blessing this food. Um, from Dorsha's cooking, I don't think I said it right, I'm not certain, <laughs> but I thank you, Father God, that all of the meals that I've 
10 since I've been down here cooked by, prepared by Dorsha. They have been fantastic, praise God. I thank you for blessing. <laughs> I thank you for bless, continuing yes, to bless her hands. I thank you, Father God, for continuing to watch over your people and to keep them safe. And me safe as I travel back to Maryland. In Jesus' name, we give you glory, God. Amen. Now you know God, well, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they all have already subscribed to Cooking with Dorsha. So no problem. They already knew what it was called. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What to say, Pops? Say ask the Father. Let me um, put something aside. There goes my baby. Hey guys, it is Sunday Backyard Farmer. Getting the late start, we're getting the grass cut, but the sun is down. Eating with family. Look, she she yelling at me about getting the grass cut. I just I just said I was gonna cut the grass, but you know, sometimes you gotta put your foot down, man. And when my foot when I put my foot down, my foot gonna step outside down on the ground. So that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna get out here. Sun is down, it actually feel good. Shout out to Broke Farmer for um, letting me join him on his live. I actually had fun today, man. I told him I had to come up there <laughs> so y'all wouldn't call me the Eeyore Gardener after my last video, so. But like I said, I'm still hanging in there. I thank everybody for their support. I thank everybody for their comments and everything. You know, just was having a bad day. But you know, we're getting out here. I'm gonna get this grass cut front and rear, and then things are looking like it needs some water. So we're gonna get that taken care of too. So, here we go. Guys, it is a scorcher out here. I thought waiting later in the day that um it wasn't gonna be this hot, but it is burning up. So I gotta do the backyard. I wanted to do more content. I didn't want this to be a cut the grass video. In the world is that? Hold on. Anyway, we're gonna get this backyard done real quick. Then I'll give you guys an update on some of the stuff I done got in the ground slash containers and um, some more plants we have for the garden. So here we go. All right, guys, real quick. So these are the ground cherries 
that I got and I actually was able to finally find some containers from from uh, Oompa Loompa Land and um, so I got three of them and I was introduced to these plants by Lady Linda uh, Miss T-Nog so I really want to put these somewhere and call it like T-Nog's Corner so I'm gonna find somewhere to put these three plants and that's what it's gonna be named T-Nog Corner so she has a space in my backyard the queen deserves that these are the some tomatoes I bought and I just bought these because of the ongoing battles I've been having with the um, tomatoes I already have and I showed y'all the video of these I bought these a while ago and they look like they're gonna try to do something and I know this plant's pretty small so it's not really supposed to be you know doing all types of fruiting but I'm gonna let one or two stay on there and see what it do probably rip a couple more off um, it's the blueberry plant bush rather I got the birds been having fun with it so I know it produced this is newly added it wasn't a cell or nothing but just got another one and I got some more starts guys so I got some more videos coming up on putting these starts in the ground still trying to figure out the next area to put an actual um the next garden area so I'm still working on that too so that's coming up in the upcoming video and we'll go over here to this Goliath um, squash or whatever plant it is it's having a little trouble I think it needs some water but like I literally don't do anything to this it's volunteer from the MIG shift compost pile and I don't know if this video does it justice but it is huge that's my hand in comparison to this leaf and look how many more leaves there are. Sweet potatoes seem to be doing okay. I'm starting to get some um, some bugs eating on these and I didn't decide yet, like the bucket. Um, I didn't, I think I was gonna use this to harvest sweet potatoes cause it'd be easier to just dump that bucket over. And then the ones I planted in this bed I was hoping that the that the leaves let me turn the camera around my initial hope was was hoping that the leaves are this you know did real good and the leaves would droop off here and I was going to use most of the at least three or four of these sweet potato plants that's in this bed I was going to use it to actually try out the leaves that everybody said that was edible and they taste pretty good so I wanted to try that out with these but the one in the container is the one that's going off with bigger leaves or whatever so we'll figure that out when we get to that juncture yeah guys we just getting stuff watered in in the garden right now already gonna cut the grass so get some water down yo know, I just have to say man I really enjoy the live today with Broke Farmer that's my first time going live, or first time being on the live, however you want to, or however the correct way to say it. But um, I had fun, man, and I'm usually not the guy to do that type of stuff. I'm usually more reserved. I mean, I break out my shell now, don't get me wrong. I like to have fun, but, you know, when you're around people, you think you know, but you really don't know, but I consider, you know, this garden community of family it was just good times and I need to make sure they didn't pin me as the Eeyore gardener <laughs> on top of that because I had to go back and watch my video I was like wow was I that down was I that sad but uh yeah it sounds pretty sad <laughs> that's about it guys we got the front yard cut backyard cut no I always do that backwards first thing we did was went to church. We got on the live with Broke Farmer, Farmer Q, my Tallahassee man, eco neighbor, Stanky Puddle Ranch before I got off, and Canadian Proud Get Outdoors. I had a ball, man. It was it was a ball. Got to do it again sometime soon. We ate dinner, spent some family time, 
and most importantly, shout out to my wife for my amazing shirt. I love it. So you know what that means. You gotta get us some dirt. Some dirt. <laughs>